Yo, what is up you guys? It is early morning. The sun is just coming up and I decided I want to come out here because it's probably the best time to visit this. The Bellum Tower, which just looks beautiful this morning. amazing drone shots right now as these birds these seagulls are attacking the drone over the water and then in the background you can see behind me the poli this police car showed up and I was like oh god what are they gonna say they haven't gotten out of their car yet so that's cool um, so it is a beautiful morning but as you might have seen in the drone shots the layers the ribbons of rain coming down I've had to land that drone three times because I had to like wipe the screen because it was covered in water so while it is a beautiful morning uh, th the rain has been an issue this morning so it looks like the opening hours aren't even until 10 a.m. and it's now just about 7. So this thing I can't actually go into for another couple hours. So right behind me is the Bellum Tower or the Tower of St. Vincent. It was built during the Age of Discovery which is why I especially wanted to come see it. It was built between the 1515 and 1520 during this Age of Discovery when all these explorers were leaving Portugal to go discover the world. So it has a significant meaning because it was actually known as a ceremonial gateway to Lisbon. It was also the first tower that explorers saw when they were coming home so it became an icon for explorers. So many of you guys have been asking if I ever decided on a name or came up with a name for my audience, for my viewers, you guys, and I figured what better time to announce it than at this like age of discovery exploration tower. So the name I decided on is Rogue Nation. Now the reason I like Rogue Nation a lot, it's come to grow on me specifically um, in the past week or so, is because Rogue stands for people who go on their own adventures, they chart their own paths, a lot of times they do dangerous adventures, and that's kind of what I'm all about, and that's my, it's like my philosophy while traveling, is like going on these daring adventures, doing things that a lot of people wouldn't normally do, and uh, I really like that. So you guys are known as the Rogue Nation, and uh, that doesn't mean I'm not still in the exploring crew, I know a lot of people probably have questions about that. I am still a part of the exploring crew, but as you know, Steve, he has the Ronins, Josh has the Explorers, I have the Rogue Nation, which I actually really like. I looked it up, there's only one other thing that's really called Rogue Nation, and that was a Mission Impossible movie. But other than that, I think we can overtake that with our hashtags over time, so it'll be good. I'm pretty sure you scale a couple towers like this in Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. As a pirate, I think you go to a couple of these defenses and you, you climb up some of these. So I'm looking at this like, all right, is there any way that you could possibly ever climb this in real life? Looks pretty tough. You'd have to be one of the most experienced parkour people. But it is cool. So it's currently low tide. You can see all the tires and everything that would normally be underwater. So I decided to come back a couple hours later when it was finally open and things have drastically changed. First of all, there is a massive line to get in. The water is all the way up here. It's just like a totally different scene from this morning. It was so calm earlier. Now there's like music going on and everything in the background. And there's a huge line. I, I thought there'd be people here, but I didn't think the line would be this massive. I have no idea how long that line's gonna take. Oh no. So that is my bad. I probably should have waited like a couple hours this morning to be first in line because if I wait now I think it's gonna be like at least an hour and I want to see other things in this city before I gotta go so I think I'm gonna head over to the monastery now I'm actually gonna meet up with a local here and uh, we're gonna take some pictures over at this cool monster okay so I gotta say between yesterday and today Lisbon has some insane architecture also the on and off rain every 10 minutes could could do without but the architecture is insane. Luckily I just got to this monastery so I can go inside now. I have come to the monastery and I gotta say this was definitely worth the wait. Look at this. 
What? The Geronimos Monastery, also known as the Monastery of St. Jerome, was originally built between 1501 and 1601, funded by King Manuel when he put a 5% tax on all the commerce between Africa and Portugal, which resulted in about 150 pounds of gold per year. So there was no limit as to how big this monastery could be built. King Manuel selected the monks from the Order of St. Jerome to occupy this monastery, and their role was to pray for the king's eternal soul and provide spiritual assistance to navigators and sailors who departed from the nearby port to discover lands around the world. This is insane. I had no idea it looked like this on the inside. I've seen pictures of the outside, but never of the inside. It looks like something you'd see at like a scene in Game of Thrones as they're walking and talking through these little monasteries. It also kind of reminds me of Hogwarts. You know in Hogwarts they had the kind of open concept layout. Reminds me a lot of that. I feel like the sky above is like so bright and shiny and the grass is so green. It makes it look just, I don't know, it's so picturesque here. For just about 10 euros, it's not bad to visit this really cool monastery. I'm definitely walking through the Hogwarts corridors right now. with a local photographer here named Felipe. And Felipe, what are we doing right now? What's up? We're grabbing a pastry? Yeah, egg custard tart. Okay, so we're grabbing like this custard tart, but it has egg in it too, right? Yeah, it is. And how do you say it in Portuguese? Pastel nata. Pastel nata. You get it? Close, you get it? close yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. we're getting there. I've been having a little bit of a tough time here in Portugal. Uh, you know, it's similar. It's kind of similar to Spanish, but not close enough where it, they still don't understand what I'm saying. If you speak Spanish, you understand it. Yeah, I, I could, I could. This English, I get by. I get by with English. <laughs> Pasteles de Belém. So we're in Belém right now, right? Yep. The province of Belém. This morning I was at Belém Tower. All right, all right. Let's see. You got some cinnamon. A cinnamon, okay. And sugar. I like both. Let's try. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I've seen these everywhere today in the bakeries, so let's try it out. The wind is blowing it all into my face. <laughs> Sorry. I just got I got powdered sugar everywhere just now. All right, Felipe. It's the moment of truth. If these custard things are good, I'll come back <laughs> and grab some more. Wow, that is amazing. That is so good. That's actually not at all what I was expecting. But that is good. You eat these every day? I would love to. Or is it like, is it more like a pastry that you have once in a while? Sure. Yeah. I would have these every day. So I was just telling Felipe, the reason I love Lisbon and Portugal so much is because it's like the age of explorers. This is where explorers came from. They explored the world. And he was saying at one point, Portugal owned like half of the world, right? Yeah. Spain and Portugal, they each owned half of the world. This statue is dedicated to the explorers. They're probably like, I don't know, 20, 30 feet tall each. And it's made of this massive white limestone. And it is, it's towering over us right now. My goal one day is to have my sculpture right next to these guys. <laughs> so it's gonna be all these old 16th century guys and then there's me with this big vlogging camera right next to them as one of the greatest explorers. <laughs> you think I could do that? <laughs> sure, why not? I might have to be from Portugal, but we'll see. <laughs> then on the other side, they have even more. I've just come to one of the best viewpoints here overlooking Lisbon. It is called St. George's Castle or Castillo de St. George. Uh, unfortunately, Felipe is not with me right now because he took a bike and I had to take an Uber. So uh, he's a little behind and it's about to close so I couldn't wait for him exactly. I'm like 20 minutes away from closing so I had to come look at this viewpoint. that many
many countries or cities in Europe, but all the ones I have been to have the best architecture and they always have like some castle or fortress or something amazing. So every time I go to Europe, it's just the best time ever. I can't believe it, I'm actually in a castle tower right now. I've never been in a castle tower before. This is the best day ever. How's it going? Dude, the, the castle was pretty awesome. Was it? Yeah, I had some random woman take my picture. She, uh, I, I had to get the picture and there was no one there. She didn't speak English, but I was like, I was like, just press this button, you're good. The picture, the picture actually came out pretty awesome. Nice, so, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you're enjoying some, some nice air drums? Yeah. So where to next? Some other viewpoint up there or okay. something? Yeah, yeah. I was going to be with Lufthansa. Cody, are you? Yeah, I'm Cody. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh nice my god, it's, a, it's an honor to meet just a member of perhaps one of the most greatest explorers I've ever seen. I've been following you, all your crew, for months. I have to say, it really lights up my day. I am really? so. Thank you. I am so. On it right now. Right now, I got chills. Right now, no. Trust no, me, my hands, my hands are shaking right now. My name is. It, a lot of people call my friends call me John because, as you can tell, I don't sound like a Portuguese person. I sound like an American person right now. Yeah, true. Because, because I actually don't learn not. I didn't learn English from school. I learned outside of school. We're about actually, to go to a viewpoint right now. If you wanna, if you wanna uh, come inside a castle. No, outside, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. All right, cool. Let's do it. Just a 20 minute steep incline leg day walk later. We've made it to another view, which is actually a view that's pretty cool because it's looking at the castle right over there. So we just walked from there all the way around. You took us on the scenic route, huh? Favorite part about Lisbon? Uh, I think the views and the environment. The light. And the also, light? Yeah. And also the the, the the life around Lisbon. That is the day. I've had a very, very full and long day. Met, in the, met these amazing guys, went all over pretty much Lisbon, saw a lot of the main attractions, the castle, Bellum Tower, and uh, my brain's just fried. I can't even think right now. <laughs> but yeah, break, but th break, thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys for showing me around and uh, being awesome and coming out here to Anytime. help me out. Anytime. And apparently I was way too tired to remember to do an outro. So Rogue Nation, thank you guys for watching. If you have not seen the first day here in Lisbon, make sure you check that video out as well. And if you want to learn how to travel cheap, stay in shape, and grow your brand, check out our Patreon community, which is linked down below. But that is it for today, guys. Until next time, explore the world. Yeah.